Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio, February 28, 2023. Extracurricular activities can be stimulating. While your exchanges are often fruitful these days, there can be some misunderstandings later today. Avoid making an offhand remark that hurts someone's feelings, and consider that people do not necessarily mean what they say at the moment. People can be extra sensitive. With the moon in your solar house all day, you're nevertheless giving special attention to your inner world and perhaps looking back before you move ahead. The moon will enter your sign tomorrow, beginning a new cycle on the level of feelings. You have no roadblocks in front of you now. With all of our mighty planets in our solar system released from their slumber and awake within the skies, this means that all relationships that are formed now have a stronger foundation that they are being built upon. Retrogrades often create some sort of mismatch or sense of confusion in a relationship or situation, especially if it is one of the personal planets, such as Mercury, Venus, or Mars. Luckily, the outer planetary retrogrades Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto create more nuanced effects on relationships since they hold dominion over society at large. Adjust your inner monologue when it comes to work matters. You will need to make a radical change to your mental approach to work when the exalted moon in Taurus conjuncts Uranus in Taurus. The conjunction is your cosmic cue to have a more stable subconscious outlook to feel more at ease with work. Adopting a more easygoing, secure mentality could even ease the stress of trying to figure out your next steps for the future of your professional journey since the moon will also square Mercury in Aquarius. While Mars is still four weeks away from your income sector, with the moon making its last visit before his game-changing return next week, it is already time to start lining up. It is a friendly aspect between the sun in your career sector and the south node in your work sector that continues on from what Venus, the planet of money started and with more support coming down the pipeline, this is giving you time to get your professional ducks in a row. Today you're ready to take risks to defend what's important to you. Don't get carried away and forget your basic needs, though. If you're inclined to be the center of attention, dancing or practicing boxing moves in public will give you the workout you need while satisfying the daring feeling you have. Other dares can include what you eat. Put raisins in a meat dish you might prepare. They are wonderful for your heart and the taste combination is astonishing. The time to regenerate and rest is at hand. If you have social engagements or a heavy workload planned for today, you may want to reschedule. The essence of this day will encourage you to take care of yourself emotionally, physically, and mentally. If you can't escape a busy day, be certain to make plans for after hours that will allow you to nurture yourself by doing some of your favorite leisurely things. The sun only returned to your career sector seven days ago, but already a lot of water has passed under the bridge, including the moon making its monthly visit, a new moon and Venus departure. In normal years this would leave you with a huge amount of information and insight up front that you would then have a chance to quietly work through. However, while a lot of water has already passed under the bridge there is even more to come and with much bigger implications. This is just a prelude to Saturn's return in 10 days, for the first time in three decades. At the same time that Venus, the planet of love's clash with the dwarf planet Ceres in your romantic sector is already separating, this should already be turning into motivation. Ceres is on a deep dive into your heart's needs and priorities and there is no one better to challenge old excuses or to expose roadblocks and barriers, whether real or imagined than the planet of love. Our eyes in the sky. This morning, the moon will be transitioning from Taurus to Gemini, which can signal the release of any pent-up aggression or tension. However, it's important to stay vigilant and cautious if you find yourself on the receiving end of someone's temper tantrum. Instead of responding with more aggression, it may be wise to diffuse the situation diplomatically, as things could quickly escalate and lead to some serious consequences. As the day progresses, consider taking a break from any frustrating matters that may be causing you stress. You might try unwinding through a relaxing activity like meditation, 
which can help calm your mind and bring a sense of inner peace. This way, you can regain your composure and tackle any challenges that may arise with a clear head and a steady hand. Remember to take care of yourself and prioritize your well-being above all else. As the day begins, Mercury in Aquarius will be forming a sextile aspect with Juno in Aries, which can stimulate thoughtful and productive conversations regarding our work or relationship commitments. While this influence may not necessarily be considered romantic in nature, it does promote the value of loyalty and commitment in our relationships. This is an excellent opportunity to discuss the contractual criteria of any agreements or commitments we have made. With the flexibility and open-mindedness of this aspect, we can listen to the other party's concerns objectively and come to a fair and equitable agreement. It's also an ideal time to assert ourselves and ask for what we need and deserve, knowing that doing so will lead to a more mutually beneficial and sustainable agreement. This aspect can also pave the way for long-lasting relationships that are built on a solid foundation of trust and mutual respect. Whether it's a romantic partnership or a professional collaboration, the discussions and negotiations that take place now have the potential to create a strong and enduring bond that will withstand the test of time. However, it's important to remember that all agreements have terms and conditions that may need to be renegotiated or updated in the future. By approaching these discussions with transparency, honesty, and a willingness to compromise, we can ensure that our relationships and commitments remain fair and equitable for the long haul. As the Taurus moon squares off with Saturn in Aquarius, we may find ourselves feeling moody and irritable. Disappointments and restrictive circumstances can trigger our stubborn tendencies, leading us to make our problems everyone else's problem as well. However, it's important to recognize that we may have played a role in creating this situation. Perhaps we procrastinated on important tasks or spoke out of turn to the wrong person, leading to isolation and increased stress levels. To navigate this challenging aspect, it's important to take a step back and assess the situation objectively. If possible, try to put your head down and focus on the work that needs to be done. In some cases, the problem may resolve itself over time, but in other cases, an apology or taking responsibility for our actions may be necessary. It's important to remember that while it can be difficult to admit when we're wrong, doing so can help to restore relationships and build trust. Ultimately, the key to navigating this aspect is to stay grounded and focused on what needs to be done. By taking responsibility for our actions and working to rectify any mistakes, we can move past this challenging time and come out stronger on the other side.